What is poppin' everybody? I'm really gonna encourage you to watch this whole video because I'm about to drop some absolute gems in here. Um, as you can tell by the title of the video, it's how to get out of your hometown and I think getting out of your hometown, getting out of your comfort zone is probably one of the most important things you can do for your growth, for yourself, for your future, for your success, for, for everything. Like, I cannot explain how much you should prioritize getting out of the comfort of your hometown because knowing that your parents are close, that your friends that you grew up with are close, everything that you've known is a drive away, makes you very comfortable. And comfortable is not what is going to breed your success. There's this quote, it goes, if we always choose comfort, we will never know the deepest capabilities of our potential. I'm gonna say that one again. If we always choose comfort, we will never know the deepest capabilities of our potential. Cold shower, perfect example. If we always choose comfort of a warm shower, how will we know what our body can tolerate? How do we know what our minds are capable of, our bodies are capable of? It's crazy to me, like I, I learned this when I went hiking about two, two summers ago, that your body is literally just your avatar and you can damn near get your body to do anything. Like damn near get your body to do anything. 99% of your battles are fought in your mind. Like there's, this, uh, there's another quote that goes, I fought a hundred battles and only one of them actually happened because 99 of them were in your head crypto another perfect example like watching this crypt like this market go up and fucking heinously down all the time when 95% of my money is in there it's really scary but it's only scary in my head so basically the moral of all those things I just stated are that comfort causes you to not really put any pressure on yourself. So when I was living at home in my mom's basement, a little over a year ago, about like a year and a month ago, I was living in my mom's basement. Now I'm downtown Miami and like things are just flying into place. Everything is just so great right now. The abundance, I'm feeling it. I'm surrounded by such good people, such good friends, such good energy. My energy has never been in a better place. I feel like I can do anything and conquer anything and everything. So if right now your main priority is not getting as far away from your hometown as possible, I would reconsider. <laughs> and trust me guys, like literally trust me on this, please. Everyone I ever grew up with was in my hometown. Everyone I ever knew was in my hometown. Everyone. I only knew one person down here when I moved here and I knew him for like two months. And it's my mentor. I literally knew no one but him when I came down here, but I knew that it was the right thing for me to do because like where I was headed, I was going to need to get extremely uncomfortable, put pressure on myself and cause myself to grow. But before I did any of that, before I moved here, I saw it in my head, you know? I was like, okay, I need to get, I need to get the fuck out of here because everyone here is, not everyone, a majority of the people here are just so small-minded and I can't even express my ideas to these people comfortably because I don't want to make other people insecure. And I'm sure like if you're watching this video, you feel a similar way to that. I'm sure. So your number one priority right now needs to be to get out of your fucking hometown. And how I did this was I basically put in an imaginary pressure on myself because I was in my mom's basement. Think about how easy it would have been for me to stay there. She wasn't kicking me out anytime soon. I could have stayed there, milked it, had mom's cooked home dinner, 
smoked weed, sat in my basement for as long as I fucking wanted. Played Xbox, and she, my, it's my mom, you know. She's not gonna be like Alex. Get the fuck out, you know. And I'm sure a lot of you guys are in a similar situation where your parents love you, you know. So it was solely up to me, and it's solely up to you to put an imaginary pressure on yourself that like it's now or never type shit. Like if you don't get out within like say six months. You're gonna be homeless type shit. Like, that's how I was basically carrying myself that, like, I need to get the fuck out of here ASAP. But I was also enjoying what I had while I was there because I knew it wasn't gonna be forever because obviously I was gonna move out. So you gotta find that balance of enjoying yourself while you're at home because you're gonna miss it one day. But also an insane pressure on yourself to grow. And I, I mean, you ha- it's, it seriously is so important to get your mindset in the right place when doing this because I, I think, am one of the only people from my hometown to actually move out unrelated to going to school. I, th- I'm, I literally, like, I can't think of anyone right now. And I'm sorry if you are that a person from my hometown that moved out unrelated to school and I can't think of you off the top of my head, but... I'm damn near pretty positive. So I was like, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna be the first here. Like no one has done this. I can't really ask anyone for advice on how to do this. Like I have to, I have to be the one to do it. You know, like not many people are gonna be able to help me. So it's entirely up to me to not waste any of my fucking time to be, I was working from fucking like 7 a.m. to 9 p.m. Like I was taking phone calls from noon to nine, you know, and around other people's schedules because I didn't have time to just chill. And neither do you. If you are not where you absolutely desire to be, why are you chilling, bro? Why are you chilling? I mean, obviously it's important to like, not burn yourself out and recognize like when you do need to chill and listen to your body. But then again, like I said about the avatar thing, like you have to push yourself so hard you have to push yourself like for example like me even recording this youtube video i don't have to fucking record this youtube video you know i don't have to i could be laying on my couch right now watching fucking netflix but i have bigger dream i'm not where i want to be right now you know i'm not you know i have bigger dreams bigger plans that are going to require so much time energy and effort from me to get there and the thing is, is you can never get complacent. And there was this Drake caption. Like, Drake literally put this on Instagram, like, picture the other day. The reward for hard work is more hard work. And once you deeply recognize this, you'll never get complacent. Because, yeah, I worked my fucking balls off to get here. But when I get here, I can't get, I can't get comfortable, you know? I have to keep growing, I have to keep evolving, or else I'm just dying. The reward for hard work is more hard work. But the reward for that hard work is freedom. And there's absolutely nothing more important in the world that we live in today than freedom. The freedom to work around your own schedule. To do whatever the fuck you want, whenever you want. Hang out with whoever you want, whenever you want. Spend your money on whatever the fuck you want, whenever you want. But to get there, you have to be built different. You have to be in the 1%. That's why there is a 1%. Because if everyone could do it, no one would be rich. Everyone would be the same. Therefore, no one would be... We'd all be the same. What kind of world would that be? And yeah, I know, obviously, like, capitalism kind of sucks sometimes, but if you capitalize off capitalism rather than just complain about it because this is the reality we live in right now this is literally the reality we live in capitalism yeah it sucks for people that like are unfortunate and don't have social mobility but if you have internet you have social mobility period fucking period i don't care what anyone says one of my friends he lives in this building actually dude was on welfare a couple years ago like, his mom was struggling to pay rent. He couldn't, like, buy prom clothes. And he lives in the penthouse of my building now. 
all because like he realized that it was completely up to him if he wanted to get out. Your parents aren't gonna help you. Your grandparents aren't gonna help you. No one is gonna fucking care about your dreams like you care about your dreams. It's entirely up to you, bro. It is literally entirely up to you. And once you realize that, you're like, fuck. That will, how you react to what I just said right there will kind of determine your future. If you're like, fuck, it's entirely up to me. I can't do this. I will tell you that you're right. And if you tell me, yeah, it is entirely up to me. I can do this. I can do whatever I want. I will also tell you that you're right. Because it's all about how you talk to yourself. That will create your reality. It's entirely up to you. Entirely up to you. Entirely. No one cares. No one. I'm not going to sugarcoat things and tell you what you want to hear. I'll always tell you what you need to hear. It's entirely up to you. No one's going to make this shit happen for you. And the easiest way to start is just start by improving yourself, honestly. Like, if you don't have a business running right now, don't have your intentions being to make a shit ton of money. Have your intentions be, how can I add as much value to other people as possible while doing what I love? The only way you'll ever actually succeed is by helping people in some way, shape, or form. It's the only way to build actual wealth is by adding so much value that it's a no-brainer to work with you or buy your product or... You know what I mean. There is no such thing as wealth without a value proposition, period. So work on yourself so that you can become the value proposition. It's exactly what I did. I worked on myself every single fucking day for years, bro. For years. So that a lot of people ask me what I do, and it's like I, I'm a mentor, I'm a consultant now. I get paid to help people figure out what it is that they can do to get to where I am. Because now that I have this knowledge, this, these tools, these ammo in my arsenal, I am the value proposition by simply me being me because of my brain. And it's never been easier. I was just a kid in Ohio a year ago, two years ago. I had like a 1.9 GPA. But school does not have any relevance to your intelligence level whatsoever. The only like correspondence that school has to any sort of of discipline or whatever is basically you just being able to shut up and do what you're told. School just breeds employees. <sighs> I've learned more in the past two years it's self-improvement, self-education than I did throughout all of school. And that says something. It really says something. So, comment down below what you want to see from me. Comment down below what your thoughts were. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe. If you can't tell by how much I've been posting on YouTube, I'm so committed to this, so committed to the growth. I'm excited to see myself and have you guys be along to watch me blow up. It'll be really cool, kind of like a shared experience. <laughs> but that about does it for this video, guys. I love you guys so much and I am so beyond grateful for everyone that allows me to add value to their life. Thank you for being here. Till next time, be productive. <laughs>